Such a big reason why a lot of athletes don't want to try a vegan diet is because they think that animal-based protein, because it has all the essential amino acids, and animal-based proteins are usually higher in protein too, so they just think that you have to eat muscle in order to gain uh? muscle optimally. And this is true, but only in a very special case. In this video, I'm going over plant-based proteins versus animal-based proteins. If animal-based proteins are really better for building muscle if they make you build muscle quicker you'll see by the end of this video and i'm also going to tell you guys how much protein you should be eating per day in order to build muscle what's good everyone welcome to the channel if you're new here my name's cole hastings and if you are trying to evolve your body and mind through a plant-based diet as well as personal development topics then consider subscribing and hitting that bell so you don't miss a video so i hear it all the time i'm not going to go vegan because i'm an athlete i'm gonna lose my gains if I go vegan. It's impossible to build muscle on a vegan diet. The protein's not as good, blah, 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 blah. These are really just excuses from people who don't know how to do the proper research. So there was a study done which wanted to compare animal protein versus plant protein when you're trying to build lean body mass. And in this study, you can actually see that animal-based protein is better at building that lean body mass and that animal-based proteins have more leucine in it which has been shown to be extremely crucial to muscle growth and activate muscle protein synthesis the most. Leucine is an amino acid, one of the eight essential amino acids. I'm gonna talk about leucine more in depth in a second here, but we can see that while these animal-based proteins are higher in leucine and could possibly help to induce muscle protein synthesis quicker, they specifically cite in the study that muscle protein synthesis is not a quantitative estimate of muscle hypertrophy or maintenance. So yes, these animal-based proteins do induce higher muscle protein synthesis, probably due to the higher levels of leucine, but whether or not that's going to build more muscle long-term is that it's not. And the way they set up the amount of protein each individual was getting in this study was pretty stupid and not optimal for muscle growth anyway. So they first start off by saying that an omnivorous diet during a 12-week resistance exercise training program induced greater gains in lean body mass and increases in type 2 fiber size than did the consumption of predominantly lacto-ovarian diet, which are the plant-based proteins. But later, it was demonstrated that increasing daily dietary protein intake from 0.78 grams per kilogram of body weight to 1.15 grams per kilogram of body weight eliminated the differences between the groups. So I just want to say right off the bat, those two protein intakes for athletes, for people who are trying to build lean body mass, are not not optimal in the slightest actually. So not only should athletes not even be eating that little protein, but even if you do increase it a bit with plant-based proteins, there's no differences in whether you're gonna build muscle quicker on animal-based protein versus plant-based protein, even at that low protein count. And now you might be asking yourself, so what is the optimal amount of protein that I should be eating per day in order to build muscle? And I am gonna reveal that later in the video, so don't go anywhere, I'm gonna reveal that soon. Let's talk about leucine again and how it's so important for muscle growth. I already cited that it's been shown that it is the most important essential amino acid in order for us to build muscle optimally. But when we take a look at at studies that compare whey protein or some other sort of animal-based protein powder or something like that to a plant-based protein powder, they show no significant differences. So take a look at these studies. This first study is showing the effect of a protein source on a male's hormones and their muscle composition. They're using different types of soy protein as well as different types of whey protein. And while protein supplementation resulted in a significant increase in lean body mass, it was independent of the protein source. And it was shown that soy protein does not decrease serum testosterone or inhibit lean body mass changes in subjects engaged in a resistance exercise program. And I know from personal experience that soy has actually helped to boost my testosterone. And if you check out these recent videos, like from Brian Turner, he eats like one pound of soy a day for like a month or something like that. I don't really remember the exact video, but he's eating a lot of soy per day and he found that his testosterone increased. And if you also check out Yes Theory, which is this very popular YouTube 
YouTube channel. They just made a video with one of their guys going plant-based for a month, and he found that his testosterone increased in that month. So no, animal protein is not gonna make you more manly or more muscular in the slightest. It can actually help to make you impotent down there. There are a lot of studies showing that because there's such high cholesterol and saturated fat in animal products, it's gonna clog arteries, and you know, if you're clogging your arteries, your blood flow down there, it's not gonna be able to grow as well. I also just wanna say that you don't need to worry about amino acids like leucine on a vegan diet or like combining foods to get the complete amino acid profile. You don't need to do that as long as you're eating a wide variety of whole grains, vegetables, legumes, nuts, seeds, you're gonna easily hit all of your amino acid goals for the day without even trying. And then there's two more studies which compare plant-based protein sources to, again, whey protein, I think it is. This one is for pea protein versus whey protein on biceps muscle thickness and strength after 12 weeks of resistance training. And they state in the study that no difference was obtained between the two protein groups, so vegetable pea proteins could be used as an alternative to whey-based dietary products. And I think like 70% of the world is lactose intolerant anyway and whey protein is not gonna help with that in the slightest I've heard so many things about how whey protein is terrible for people's digestion and people like put it on a pedestal as the complete protein the golden protein source but do you guys know how whey protein is made it's literally a byproduct of cheese products that companies make it's like this trashy byproduct that they just decide you know we got this leftover whey protein let's not waste any money let's just fucking and throw it in a big jar and sell it to meatheads because they're gonna think it's amazing. If you eat animals, that's okay with me. I'm not gonna hate you for that, but don't ever take whey protein, please. And the last study comparing whey protein to plant-based proteins was with rice protein. And again, in this study, both whey and rice protein isolate administration, post-resistance exercise, improved indices of body composition and exercise performance. However, there were no differences between the two groups. And back to leucine, because leucine is actually mentioned in this study with the rice protein isolate. And they do mention that leucine is gonna help you with muscle protein synthesis. But there's a threshold with leucine where if you consume more leucine after a point, it's going to make no difference in how quickly or optimally you build muscle. So that means it's not necessary to consume animal-based proteins in order to get your leucine in because you don't even need that much leucine anyway. There's a threshold and there's already a decent amount of leucine in plant-based protein. So as long as you're eating enough of these protein sources, you're going to get plenty of leucine in for the day. It's going to be optimal there's going to be no problems. Now, finally, the question you guys have been waiting for, and that is how much protein do I need to build muscle optimally? And there was a meta-analysis study that took 49 different studies and analyzed them and found out exactly how much protein you need up to a certain point in order to build muscle optimally. And they found that this threshold for protein intake and optimal muscle growth was 1.62 grams per kilograms a day. For all you Americans out there like me, that is like 0.7 grams per pound of body weight. And I always recommend between 0.6 to 0.8 grams per pound of body weight. But even if you do eat 0.8 grams per pound of body weight, it might not help you at all, according to this study. Although I do think if you're cutting, you should eat more towards the 0.8 grams per pound of body weight because it will compensate for the loss of calories that you aren't eating. So that's why I said in that first study that like 0.7 seven, eight grams or 1.15 grams per kilogram of body weight isn't even optimal anyway for muscle growth. So you shouldn't be eating that little amount of protein anyway, if you're a strength athlete. So that whole study saying that animal protein was better than plant-based protein for muscle growth was kind of just bullshit and stupid because no one is eating that little amount of protein as an athlete. And another plus with eating those plant-based proteins is the fact that they're not gonna kill you. I've made a video pretty Previously, it was called Your Protein Obsession is Slowly Killing You on why high-protein diets, especially high-protein animal-based diets, aren't good for your mortality. You can check out that video after this video, but I'm just going to show you guys a study here which compares if you're eating more plant-based protein to animal-based protein, and it's clear that animal-based proteins, no matter what the source really, are gonna increase your risk of all-cause mortality. Not only is animal protein just as good as plant protein for making gains, 
but animal protein is much, much worse for you, is gonna cause you to die quicker, and is gonna cause all more sorts of health problems. Animal protein athletes are eating way more meat and dairy and egg products than the usual person, and that is gonna cause huge health consequences. I do not recommend this, and I hope that this opened your eyes a little bit. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like for me. Thank you for watching till the end. I appreciate you guys so much for watching till the end because, you know, it just helps out my channel so much when you guys just watch through the whole thing. And I'm glad that, I, that I'm that entertaining. I mean, that's pretty cool. So thank you guys. I appreciate you. Hope I gave you some studies today to show all of your meat eater friends. And I will see you guys in the next video.